Suche, German for search, and the command for these human remains dogs to start working. Today, there's no body, just a demonstration, searching for hidden decoys that contain the scent of death. With years of training, these dogs of the South Carolina canine search team assist police in bringing closure to a victim's family <laughs> and potentially justice. We always say we consider ourselves a tool for law enforcement among many other tools. If it helps them um, put somebody in jail or bring a person back to their family, it, it's... It's worthwhile doing. While their work often results in finding a body, these dogs aren't specifically searching for one, but rather the scent of human decay. And for a dog, it doesn't really make any difference what order they're looking for. It's just what you teach them to look for. It's like whether it's narcotics, human remains detection, um, bed bugs, some people do bed bugs. It doesn't matter. You just want the dog to understand what he needs to look for. Once he understands that, to them it's the same what they're looking for. It doesn't make a difference. Dogs with their incredible sense of smell have proven to be great detectors of pinning down odors. They can distinguish and analyze smells thousands of times better than humans can, and they can distinguish which direction a smell is coming from as their left and right nostrils are independent. Combined with training, Riker, Finn, and Murphy track their target, no matter how hidden, buried, or covered it is. Finding the source of the scent takes time, though, as the scent spreads. So when you have a body laying on the ground, you will have a scent pool that forms. It's called a scent pool. So all the scent will be around the body. The wind will take those scent particles away in the direction of the wind, of course. The concentration of the scent will be at the source, in this case, a body and then the scent will disperse with the wind, will go further out, and that's what we call the cone, and as the further and further it goes, the more the scent will spread out, so the cone gets larger and larger. Scent also gets caught up in shrubs, obstacles, and even water. Finn, get to work. Posing a problem that the dogs quickly figure out, honing in on the origin and the highest concentration of the scent. When they find it, they let the handler know, and the handler responds with lots of praise. It may look like play, and for them, it is. For them, it's a game, actually. Uh, the dogs get rewarded, they find something. So it has to be something that the dog wants to do and enjoys doing. But the dogs are working, each using a different technique to find out where that scent is strongest. So Finn will explore all that and, and check out in every direction and think about it. No, I'll go back there. No, back there, back and. Some dogs, like like Riker, like the German Shepherd, he will kind of go more direct. He's more focused to get it done straight in a straight line and go over there and get it done <laughs> the German way. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs>